Hello guys, uh, welcome to another uh, image processing tutorial using OpenCV in Python. So um, uh, in this video to tutorial we are going to discuss how to convert uh, a BGR image into HSV image and uh, how to do particular color tracking in a video. Okay, so that's what we are going to do. So let's get straight into it. As usual I am going to copy paste the code and try not to waste, you, uh, waste your time. By tapping them down. Oh shit. So we need two libraries uh, to accomplish this. So one is the CV2, another one is num numpy for matrix manipulation. So we are actually gonna like um, use your, I mean use our camera. So by default zero is one. If you have more than one cameras connected to your computer, then you could choose whatever you want by giving uh, zero, one, or two. Zero is your default first camera. Okay. So now we before we go into like uh, getting the camera and I mean data uh, video stream from your camera. So we're gonna create a, a simple image, which is gonna be like. Uh, 512 cross 512 in size and then it has three channels so it's normally going to be blue green red the channel one two three represents so now um, i'm gonna take uh, the red channel b g r so which is two and then i'm gonna make it all 255 five. so that this uh, 512 cross 512 image will be a red color image and then I'm gonna show that image so that you could see like what it's actually in there. Okay. Uh, CV2 dot destroy all windows. CV2 dot wait key zero. Save uh, five. So now this is a uh, red color image, pixel uh, red color image that we created. So now what we want to do is like we want to convert that. Now we know like let's say you want to get the BGR value of the image. Let's go ahead and like uh, print out a particular pixel value. It can be anything. So before I'm sure print uh, the center one. I'll print IMG. 256 comma 256 comma everything Save. so it has to print uh, 00255 let's see what it prints so it actually printed 00255 which is actually the red color BGR so now I'm going to convert this image into an HSV hue saturation value so there are like a lot of information about what it's actually so you could go to internet and you could check that out so now let's uh, see how to do the conversion so uh, okay so now hsv it's gonna be equal to cv2 dot we're gonna use this function called convert cvt color then we're going to pass the image that we want to like uh, convert and then uh, what type this they call it flag uh, cv2 dot color bgr to hsv okay now uh, the first one represents bgr value BGR value and then the second one represents HSV hue saturation value and then let me print it out print this copy this HSV Paste it. We have five. I'm screwed. HSV is not defined. 
Oh crap, it has to reload this. Just re. Okay, here we go, we got it. So now, H SP value of red color is zero. So now, what I'm going to do is this. Before I go out and do anything with this, let me just, uh, just like the like, let me print it out so that I could double confirm what we got here. Yes, it, it's indeed. So, HSV value for red is 0, 255, 255. Okay. That's the value for it. So, now we're going to like load a stream the video through our camera. So, now we know the value, right? So, it's actually, I'll just put it here. 0, 255, 255. And then I could comment from here to here. We don't need them. We just figured out uh, HSV value for red, and I, I figured out. So now let's go to, to uh, let's get it to eternity. While one, so from here I'm gonna copy paste. So this line of code is gonna like get the frame information from your camera and then this line of code uh, oh crap oh crap okay so now we got the video stream from our frame and then I'm converting the frame, the BGR to HSV, so using the above function that we learned. So now I'm gonna call lower red and then upper red. Okay. So my lower red is gonna be np dot a r r array. Zero comma hundred comma hundred. So this is the lower value for red that I have. And then for the upper value, as we know, two five five two five five. So we could tweak this value later. So now uh, let's keep this thing. So now we are actually gonna like. Uh, creating a mask you could actually you don't have to call it mask but now we are basically creating a mask uh, we are actually masking the area that has uh, the above color range lower red and upper range upper uh, red range so in uh, range so uh, which image we're gonna take the video stream from a camera then you specify the range lower red comma upper red okay and then we're gonna do im show on a mask so just to see whether it's working first so now actually I could execute the code so everything should work but we are going to actually see the mask I'm screwed here I'm screwed I don't know why it's screwed here yes I want to kill that so I'm actually calling it a mask ok let me also put this uh, bunch of codes here then let me get rid of this one save press f5 not screwed anymore so yeah we can actually see something so I'll show you guys like what it's actually 
the thing. It's actually. I don't want to say what it is. I'll just show it to you guys. So how do I show it? So I also have to do im show on the video that we're getting from the camera. So cv2 dot im show. I have to show you guys the camera. So it's actually HSV. HSV, comma HSV. Yeah, five. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. What's actually happening? I'll uh, show the frame. I don't want to show that. So this. And I have two windows here. This is actually a cap that I have with me now. Okay. So it can actually, it's actually just showing only the cap and it's actually like masking out the rest. Okay. So now let's apply this mask onto the cap. So what we do is so we have to do bitwise and on uh, the frame itself and then we have to apply the mask so that we only see the mask. Okay. So let me copy paste that. Copy. CV2. So we are doing bitwise and on the frame itself. So we have uh, take the same frames and then we anding them together and the result will be the same, exactly the same frame. And then we are applying the mask. The mask is just only the cap which we are extracting from here using the color range. So first let's uh, see this stuff. Maybe we make another window. And then we call it result save f5. Now we have uh, three windows here. And which one is result? This is actually result. And test the cap. So now, now we have to play with the numbers to get a beautiful cap. Now it's all like a messy and blurry. We close this. Let me come down here. Let me go down this value, like maybe 75. I'm not sure whether I'm doing it right. So I press F5. I still like this. Too close here. Maybe I'll go up to 150. F5. I'm seeing nothing. So I think what I feel is the best is to make it zero. Then press F5. Wow. Zero is a bad idea. At least a 50. Please work for me, please. Now, actually I should say it's actually working, so it can actually track, it's not actually tracking, it's just uh, showing you the red color uh, cap that I put in front of this camera. So basically our code is perfectly working, but we have to figure out what's the, the color range for uh, red color and then we just uh, 
have to plug it in here in HS3. So after that, it will work perfectly fine. Thanks for watching this video. See you guys in the next video tutorial. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.